what do you think about the athletic master plan uh, presented in May by Banky Landscape Architecture? The, la the plan includes a new plaza for the football stadium, a gateway, and replacing natural grass with turf. Um, and we can start with, I forgot the order now, but I'll start, we'll start with Josh. Well, Josh gets to start every time. Did, I didn't notice that. Yeah. So. And, I, and I'm on the committee. And he's on the committee. So, you know, the athletic committee was one of those committees that we have our administration on. I am the board representative for that committee. We have a number of community members. Um, what we did was we went and toured a bunch of different districts to see what projects have been done to see how they completed them. Did they fundraise? Did they go on you know, the ballot and go to the taxpayers? And then with Benke, we basically all put together how our fields are used. We have very limited space in Beechwood. Our fields are overused. And that is a problem because they don't get time to rest and they're, you know, we have issues with them. So I think they put together a great plan but when the plan was presented to the board, it was a great plan, but we didn't see any numbers. We don't know what that plan is gonna cost. Mm -hmm. So again, that's gonna be part of the project coming up presentation on November 16th to see how much we're gonna be, you know, will cost to redo these fields. Okay, Steve. As Josh said, we saw a preliminary plan with no numbers. Uh, I was not part of the uh, athletic facilities team uh, yes, we absolutely are. Our status quo is not an option, as, as is with the elementary school status quo is not an option. We know that we need to improve our athletic facilities. Uh, I would like to see private money come into it as well, though. I think that uh, with our new development director and the restructuring of our school support organizations that we've been doing over the last year, that we could probably find private money in addition to public money to offset the cost and build a phenomenal facility that is worthy of our community. I'd also like to see more community members have a say in it though. I'd like our community members to, to be more vocal about what they want, to come to meetings and to tell us what they want. And when, when the plans are shown to be there and to give their two cents. There's nothing in stone at this point and as they're evolving more eyes are great. There's a wisdom of crowds, and we have a very intelligent, very wonderful community that support our schools, and we have all sorts of professionals. We have architects, we have landscape professionals, we have athletic professionals, we have retired athletes. They should have a say in our facilities. They have more expertise than either of us. Okay, Josh, you'd like to add anything? Or? You know, it's a small, uh, it's not that small of a group for the athletic committee. But I agree, we need to get support from the city. Um, they use our fields for recreation, um, for programs, you know, for kids' soccer, for you know, adult softball. So we need to get them involved in this project. Um, we also need community members, and we have to accept you know, their opinion and give them a chance to say what they want. Okay. The community members need to realize, though, that as they're part of a committee, because they suggest something, doesn't automatically mean that we're going to adopt that concept. And so, let's have them give us their thoughts, but understand that not everything that they say is going to happen. It's just not the way the world works. And it's not one person who's saying no to, you know, right. we'll use turf as an example, you know. That's something that is in the plans right now, but if one person decided they didn't want it, this is a group of five of us that are going to make these decisions in the end.